welcome back to the channel today's Monday morning and uh, this compact crane has come to start setting trusses they got the first one up the front gable and uh, now they're setting this front uh, the, the side gable I, I, I apologize the side gable they set and now they're we got a bunch of the middle trusses up since this is the second one that's going up right now it's a girder it's a double girder truss that the middle ones are gonna hang off of with uh, Joyce hangers so they had to get a bunch of them up there because he wouldn't be able to get those trusses over this girder one after so they set those up there they just laid them down and now they're getting the girder truss up secured and then they'll stand up the rest of those but a couple days ago the guys were here and they uh assembled the gable trusses all the gable trusses so we got uh three two side ones like this like this big one and then uh one front one that's gonna be either right there where that girder truss is or on this side i'm not sure they have another one over there i believe uh prepped uh just like this but they assembled it got the overhangs the eaves all set the osb nailed they left about what is that about eight nine inches of space there because when they did their osb they went over over the wall this way when they they send that up they can tie both the the walls and the gable truss together the roof let me go up there i'll show you show you what what they did and how they laid out the measurements for the trusses so as you can see put up some 2 by 12s secured them to the studs nailed everything basically secured that gable out they plumbed that once that's plumbed the rest of the trusses will be set with a uh, spacer 24 inch and center spacer and just go one after another from that main one you got to make sure that that main one is nice and plumb okay so we uh got the trusses set the main trusses they just went so fast and had to give the guys a quick can real quick to stand a few up and they just got that last gable right there secured and they're uh, gonna do this probably this gable right here that's gonna go on the front end uh, front end of the house right there that overhangs a quick, quick tour how they stood them up uh, he's about to hook that gable truss by the peak there When you have a good quick crew and they know what they're doing they do all their layout ahead of time prep everything and this goes i mean it's been only about two and a half hours to three hours and uh all the trusses the majority aside from those two front gables are set so they went through they use these strips of osb they just ripped you know two inch two inch wide OSB sheets from from a bunch of the scrap that we had and uh, when they secured this front get one gable they plumbed it and then just went 24 on center each truss going 24 inch on center they did it on the bottom and then on top and same thing on the other side and just one by one set them up then once they're done doing all this stuff, then they're actually going to secure all of them to the double plate up here. With frame nails, same thing, 24 inch on center. That way 
you gotta make sure you do it. Perfect, 24 inch line center. So that when you're doing your sheetrock, you're not gonna have to move, move the trusses over because they're gonna be already nailed right there. You might be able to, to shift them in the middle a little bit here and there, but not there. So you gotta make sure you're starting from one side and go 24 inch on center, everything square to the walls. Makes it a whole lot easier. Another crane's picking up that gable right there. Once they get this gable and the other gable, they're locked. Rafter in all the valleys. So put two by fours or the, they might use two by sixes to run their rafters to connect to the trusses to make that valley for uh, that gable front and the other side there. Once they do that, they'll run their sub fascia, which is just a two by four that gets attached to the ends right there to the tails along the length of the whole house from each side and once that's done that's when the OSB sheathing goes on top of the roof So before they set these trusses right here on the truss hangers right there, they plumbed that girder double truss right there and uh, secured it with this 2x4 right into the floor. That way they can just set all these hangers right here and now they can just measure from their girder truss or they can use a level to plumb that front, the front gable. Put up a temporary little landing area to, to set the trusses here and then walk walk on them to stand them up. Show it to you from the outside here from the front. You can see. And they're just gonna, I think, nail the OSB right away. The fact that they had to measure it and everything over overlapping right into the wall. Yeah, let's go nail right through. And that'll secure that that gable truss to the front. And the other guy is gonna go, uh, I'll actually just be able to go right there with some long eight inch screws and drive long eight inch screws right into the double plate there through that two by six that, that acts as a, a nailer also for when you're doing your sheetrock. So it connects the truss to that two by six and then to the double plate. So there you have it. It's a hot day today. Man, I'm sweating. But it's better, it beats rain. So nothing worse than when you're framing, you get the rain and you gotta go in and out and it's just a pain. So I've been fortunate the past two weeks it hasn't rained and uh, we'll be able to sheath this house uh, probably tomorrow and get some uh, some roofing felt put on ice and water and get the shingles going thank you for watching stay tuned for the next update video and we'll catch you next time thank you